Greetings everyone, Core here. Time for a more review. Went to go see Ghostbusters Afterlife. And just to get straight to the point, it's a good movie. <laughs> uh, I was a little worried after, of course, the previous Ghostbusters movie, the all women's cast one, wasn't that great. <laughs> uh, wasn't even that good. But, yeah, man, this one, I know it's been, I think it's been on hold for about two years now. Maybe more, maybe less. Um... They did, ch I think they changed uh, one of the years in the movie that they, uh, to say what year they're in. But, yeah, man, like, I've always liked the first two Ghostbusters. I know a lot of people don't really like the second Ghostbusters movie. I do. Uh, I like it just as much as the first. But, yeah, it, they have a unique feel to them. And I feel like Ghostbusters Afterlife did capture the Ghostbuster movie feel. Uh, it kind of has... A good start it has a good hook in the beginning it has lots of build up to the final act which is amazing uh, even the little snippets of action here and there are really well done all the action all the the, the proton pack use all the ghost hunting is done perfectly it's very entertaining it's very thrilling I saw it in IMAX so you get to see everything even more than you normally do with most movies that are like ultra wide form so you get that you know higher top and bottom to see more but man it was fun uh it was it, it was fun it was enjoyable uh you know like i said it felt like the old ghostbusters but vamped up which yeah it's you gotta remember if you're watching old ghostbuster movies like how those were compared to movies nowadays it's it's really you know Ghostbusters back in it's been a while <laughs> since the Ghostbusters movies so yeah there's that um but man there's lots of good music lots of cues lots of practical effects it seems like uh along with of course the CG computer graphics that were really good uh there really wasn't any I mean the one like the CG and everything was really good. Uh, they used a lot of practical stuff to, along with it too. The prop designs are great because they look weathered and worn and used. The set is cool. I mean, they, I'm sure they filmed on location at some place. But, I mean, there are a couple scenes where they do blue screen it or green screen it. And you could tell <laughs> for a second. I mean, luckily they're fast and quick, so it's really short. But besides that, I mean... Yeah, it's really good. Uh, th of course, there is the scene uh, that's, I think they released it, the, the mini uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man uh, at Walmart. <laughs> uh, they had to get their, their product placement in, which is kind of funny because I think that's the only time they really have product placement in the whole movie. So, kudos for them. Just literally, it, it's a scene that could okay it, it pl does play some importance to the rest of the movie but literally it just feels like they could have cut pretty much most of it <laughs> uh you know but besides that uh it's it's interesting what they did uh with egon's character because unfortunately uh he had passed so he couldn't you know reprise his role in this one uh but it was interesting to say the least because they did a little bit of spoilers to try not to spoil too much they did i mean he's he's literally at the beginning of the movie <laughs> that's the hook that's the hook uh is him in the beginning of the movie and they got of course they had to have someone play him but i think the classy thing they did um for the actor i had to look him up real quick i forgot his name i know i hate it I hate that i don't remember his name uh here Ramus, uh, the nice thing they did now that technology and prosthetics and you know are at such a high point where you could literally just replace anyone in the movie and almost is seamless uh, you know there's a couple instances but a lot of times it's pretty seamless now and the nice thing they did is they didn't use any 
they didn't try to replicate his voice or style or anything like that. They just had a stand-in, and he just acted. He doesn't say... Okay, a little bit of a spoiler here. Uh, he doesn't say a single word in the whole movie. Which is great, because most of the time, yeah, he's just, you know, there, or, you know, he just doesn't say a single word, I mean, in this whole scenes and stuff like that, so, it's kind of classy, I like it, because, yeah, they have a stand-in, but, you know, they didn't go the full replacement thing, you know, they, they kept it, so, they, they showed that, you can't replace them, you know. You can show, you know, someone looking like, acting like, and stuff like that, but you can't replace him. That's why they didn't give him a voice, and I think that worked so well. Uh, <laughs> it was a nice send off to at the towards the at the end, and man, like they got the crowd, they got the audience going on that, and it was great. It was, it was nice. It was a nice send off. Uh, a memory of and <laughs> yeah it's just a great movie I'm trying to spoil it too much of course like I said the last act is just the build up and everything to it was great um, the ch the child actors who do, do a really great job they you know Paul Rudd is always fun and entertaining uh, the mother of the, the main characters she was good too as well the characters don't feel you know there are some stereotypes to them but they don't feel dumbed down they don't feel too smart well they okay so one is really smart but <laughs> they don't feel you know that super uh craziness you know they all have fla flaws and faults and they all you know work to improve them and stuff like that so they're not perfect from the start so they you know have flaws they work they have to figure things out and it's funny because there's a few tropes in certain in movies that we see all the time and they kind of make fun of a few of them uh and but it just work it just works everything works uh i you know if i had to nitpick there's maybe one or two scenes that i think could have added an extra line or two just to um you know better have them you know to tell the audience that they understood it better then they actually under you know are understanding it just to show that they get it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I, I, it's really good. I can't fault the movie for that because everything else is just great. It's such good work, and I recommend it. Definitely check it out. Like I said, I don't want to spoil too much. So the ending is just it makes every it makes everything worth it. <laughs> I know it's a kind of long movie it's like almost two and a half hours so bear that in mind I think it's about two and a half hours yeah uh, so yeah but there is a mid credit scene and there is an end credit scene the end credit scene is very touching the mid credit scene is pretty funny and it does leave some open possibilities but We'll see what happens. Ghostbusters is such a weird franchise. It's been around for a long time. And it's gone through its highs and lows, you know. So we'll see. Hopefully hopefully this movie does get some good ratings and people like it. Because it'll be fun to see them continue. If they do. If they do. Because they could, they can't. You know, they left it at a good point, I think. So I recommend it. Check it out if you can. IMAX is really cool. The sound was great. The picture is awesome. You get to see so much, which for Ghostbusters, since you have a more vertical landscape when you're dealing with the ghosts and stuff, it helps. Just like how the Justice League had that 4 by 3 so you could see more because they're more vertically used, you know, shots where they're flying and stuff. So it works pretty well in, Ghost, in Ghostbusters as well. So I recommend IMAX if we get seen at IMAX, but it really, as long as you could see it, I think you'll be happy and enjoy it enough. Um, there's a few kids in this audience and everybody seems to like it really loved it uh it's definitely enjoyable for all ages i mean it's pg-13 so it's there but until next time guys uh next movie i believe i am uh let me just check real quick uh it's next week right yeah next week uh enchanto on 
on November 23rd. I believe that's the early showing of it. Yeah, because that's on a Tuesday. And I think it comes out on Wednesday, but we'll see. Definitely seeing that. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in more reviews. But until next time, guys, later.